Hello again and welcome to Tips with Andrew. I am Andrew Sapiano. Thank you so much for joining me on this happy Thursday. Thursday, we're almost at Friday, almost at the weekend. I hope you guys are rocking out this week. Whatever goals, hopes, plans, dreams, ambitions you had, you are currently making it happen. Hopefully the week's almost over. <laughs> um, quickly, before we get started here, we are two weeks, I think, away from doTERRA convention, and I cannot be more excited. I, I, I actually can't believe it's, it's already upon us. I remember last year's really like it, almost like it was yesterday. Um, um, yeah, so if you are at all interested in essential oils, um, alternative wellness, um, uh, living a natural, uh, uh, holistic lifestyle. This is definitely the event that you do not want to miss. It's a week long event, information, education, community together, uh, science behind why the oils work, why you should care. Um, exclusive oils, new product launches. There's so much cool stuff going on over there. I'm super excited. Um, it's going to be held in person as well as online. So if you're interested, definitely reach out to me, drop me a comment, send me a message, and we will definitely get you rocking and rolling. Um, next, I am booking uh, free consultations for life coaching. If you or somebody you know of is not having a very good go round of life at the current moment and could use the guidance and assistance from somebody that maybe could help them, definitely reach out to me, drop me a comment, send me a message. We'll book you a free consultation, see if this is something that um, may be beneficial for you and or your friend <clears throat> so that we can uh, get you back and live in the life of your dreams. Okay, that's where I'm going to cut it off. There's, I, I'm telling you, there's so much more going on over here, but I am super excited. I especially am excited about today's topic. Uh, we're going to be talking about caring for your body after a tough day of work. This is actually one of my favorite topics uh, because I work at a factory. So for me, <laughs> every single day, basically, actually for me, more than anything is my feet, right? Because we're because I and, and you know on the line in the factory. Um, just on my feet all day and I guess I don't actually have very good posture uh, and or balance uh, because I sp <laughs> only certain parts of my feet uh, feel it more than others but I mean that's also that's also the thing too I love uh, this is actually one of the things that I love learning about um, it's a thing called reflexology and all of your organs are connected through your feet the bottoms of your feet your hands and your ears right so when the bottoms of your feet hurt it's not necessarily because you're on your feet all day. I mean, if you're on your feet all day, chances are it's because you're you're on your feet all day. But that's not necessarily um, uh, the the cause of it, right? Because your whole body is connected, all of your organs, all of everything is connected through the bottoms of your feet. So a specific part on your body could be hurting, but it could be showing up, or it could be manifesting through your feet because that's the way that it works. I actually love learning about this, and I actually had a specific uh, um, experience uh, with this, um, with this reflexology stuff. Uh, quickly, my story, um, I remember my foot hurt so much, and it was this one part, and I, I was putting, you know, oils on it to help it out. I was, you know, doing the foot soaks. I was trying, massaging, doing everything to get this pain out of my foot, and it just would not work. And so Tina actually suggested to me, why don't you look on the reflexology chart and find out what it, that part of your body is connected to. And so I looked and it was actually connected to my lungs. So the, the part of, on my foot that was hurting was the same part that is connected to my lungs. So what I did was I actually put a respiratory oil uh, blend on my foot and it actually started, it started feeling better almost instantly. And I, and that I, I really was fascinated at the, uh, um, at everything in that current moment, right? I had pain, but the pain wasn't going away. And then when I actually helped my respiratory system, the foot pain actually started resolving itself. And that to me was just fascinating, right? That was a, just a mind blown moment. Um, you know, <laughs> light bulb, if you will, right? That was actually one of the best things that uh, that I learned about. So 
that's where I wanted to come on and just give some tips that help me, right? My body at the end of the day is not, it, it's not uncommon for me to put my body through the ringer throughout the day and, you know, parts of my body that I don't even know I have parts or places that I don't even know I have places are hurting and I've never felt, you know, the, a sensation like that before. So that's where I wanted to come on, give some tips that help me when I'm sort of dealing with some, some aches and some bruises after the day, after a long day of work and, um, you know, we really want to get it, um, we want to alleviate it really, uh, really as soon as possible, right? So that's where I got some tips that help me. Hopefully they help you too. Hopefully you get some value out of this, right? And uh, who knows, maybe maybe incorporate one or two, one or two of these into your uh, um, nightly regimen and uh, help yourself care, help care for yourself after a tough day at work. So first of all, water. Especially in these summer months, it's really hot out there today. It's really sticky and humid. Make sure you're drinking your water at least eight, eight ounce glasses per day. Trust me, it's great for overall wellness. So the number one thing that I like to do more than anything is ice my injuries as well as heat, right? I have icing or heat is the second part of it. And this is really what I love doing more than anything. Um, it just helps the heat or the ice helps with the inflammation, right? It helps sort of calm that down. And then the heat just kind of gets everything flowing in there, helps with the blood flow, helps um, really what happens when you get an injury of any sort or of any kind. Um, what happens right away is all the blood starts flowing to it, right? <laughs> your, your, your body kind of goes into reaction mode. I remember Tina had this a little bit ago. Uh, we were on our feet for a long time, actually at the Boots and Hearts concert. Um, and her feet started swelling up really bad. And so what happened was all of the blood was really flowing to that part of her body uh, in an effort to help with the inflammation, right? It's just, a, it's your body's sort of fight or flight response mechanism. And that's the way that it deals with that stuff. So that's why we got to use the ice and the heat. It helps in combination with each other, as well as you can't ice your, or you can, but you shouldn't ice for longer than 15 or 20 minutes. For me, I love setting a timer. Timers for me are, they, they are beneficial for a lot of things in life. And if you don't use a timer, trust me when I tell you that it, it, will, it will blow your mind and be very beneficial for most areas of your life. But especially when it comes to icing yourself because we don't want to ice ourselves for too long because the, the ice will actually start to create a burn, right? Our skin is not supposed to be uh, frozen for that long. We'll start to get, um, you know, uh, we'll start to burn our skin. We'll get hypothermia, stuff like that. And that's not stuff that we want to deal with, right? Also, it's, it's one of those things where you're not actually helping yourself more in the long run. You're actually doing, a, a, you're actually, um, doing a detriment to your overall wellness when you ice for longer than you're supposed to because your your body needs time to adjust, right? It needs time to, to heal itself and it also needs downtime. So that's what we do. We put ice on the area, right? If we're talking me, it's my feet, right? We would put ice on my feet. I would just wrap it up in, and that's another thing too. We don't wanna put ice right on our skin. We wanna make sure that we're at least putting it on a shirt, but you wanna put it, you wanna wrap it I don't actually have anything here, but you want to wrap it in a cloth uh, or a towel of some sort and just have it so that it's not touching your skin um, uh, directly. We don't want to be hurting ourselves. We, we want to be helping ourselves. So that's where we, that's where I'm talking, right? 15 minutes. For me, I love 15 minutes. It's just good increments, 15 on, 15 off. You could do 20. Sometimes I do 20 um, if, uh, if um, you know, it, I find that, it, uh, that I need a little bit more. But for me, the most part is just 15. Um, and so then we wrap ourselves 15 minutes in the ice and then we take, we could use that same towel. Uh, it's not going to be, you know, super cold, but <laughs> we could use it or we could get like a blanket or something and then just wrap ourselves for the heat for, for another 15 minutes. And that's it. And we just kind of uh, alternate ice, heat, 15 minutes on, 15 minutes ice, 15 minutes heat. And that way we can, we can control, um, you know, the healing process and we can also help 
uh, speed up the healing process because our body, right, it has a natural healing process that it will do on its own. But we want to do what we can to help, uh, you know, just to help uh, speed up that process. 15 minutes ice, 15 minute heat. I promise you, that's the number one thing you want to do. Number two could be a foot soak. Right for me, I talked about my feet hurting, but right at the uh, off the hop, we talked about uh, reflexology. Right, so <clears throat> just because your feet are hurting doesn't necessarily mean that it's your feet that are hurting. So what do we do? We try and help ourselves any way possible, and a foot soak is the is is a great place to start. You could do this either with um, ice cold water. You want to make sure that you can that you can stand it. Uh, you don't want to make the water way too cold. You don't want to make the water way too hot. You want to make sure that you can stand it. So what we do is we get, and we could do either cold or hot, whichever one you feel that you need at this current moment. Um, so if we're doing hot or if we're doing cold, we want to make sure that it's cold enough that we can sit in there for an extended period of time. And if it's hot, same thing. We, we just want to make sure that we can sit in there for an extended period of time without hurting ourselves, right? When you, you, you know what I mean, right? When you're, when the water's too cold or too hot and you put your feet in, it's <laughs> right. You're, you're just, it, it's, it's uncomfortable to say the least, right? So that's where we want to just make sure that, uh, that um, it, that we can stand it long it, long enough for the benefits to kick in because if we're putting our foot in and you know ten seconds later we're taking it out, <laughs> chances are the benefits are not going to kick in. You want to you want to kind of make sure that you can stand it for you know the the ten maybe fifteen twenty minute mark uh, in that aspect. So that's where we talk about making it so that we can uh, we can stand it long enough so that it can kick in. When we're doing with cold with cold water, we're talking uh, helping with the inflammation. With the hot water, we're helping with the blood flow. But either way, we're helping our our entire body system because of reflexology. All of our organs are connected through our feet. So therefore, when we're helping our feet, when we're doing a foot soak, we're actually helping all of our all of our body systems. We're helping the blood flow all over our body we're helping tame the inflammation all over our body and we're just giving ourselves that overall um uh you know that 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 wellness feeling right that you know that help when we need it like i said before our body has a natural healing process what all we want to do is is help speed that up a little bit and help alleviate some of the pressures that we're feeling um, so that we can, you know, we can actually get back to real life. There's nothing worse than when you get home, right? And your feet are killing you or your back's killing you, right? Your shoulders are killing you and you can't really do too much more than just sit on the couch and, and, you know, pray for the end of the night. Um, and that, that's what I mean, right? Tina and I have actually, we've, had, we've actually made a, a habit of this, uh, over the last little bit foot soaks have become a real a real nice treat for us and uh, it's it, it's just great the way that it helps all of the body systems this is one of those that, that that i really love and um you know try it out if it doesn't work for you definitely come back here and talk to me about that and we'll try and figure something else out number three is a massage right when we've got that uh fire control group Thank you so much for joining us, taking time out of your busy schedule. I think I've tried that and it works potentially. That's amazing. That's amazing that it worked. Even a little bit, right? Even a little bit of relief, is it working? You didn't, sometimes you have to know when you've won, right? If you're expecting this big spectacular change, maybe it doesn't work. But if you're expecting just some sort of relief so that you can keep going with your life, that's it working. That's a win. Celebrate wins. Celebrate the little wins in life. We don't celebrate those enough. Massage is the number three. And this is this one. This one is really one of those, you know, you can do it to yourself. You can get um, somebody in your household, significant other, child, mother, uh, father, right? Uh, depending on what kind of household you live in. But to give you a massage, right? This, this one is actually really perfect. It's just helping to... Um, 
again, it's helping with the blood flow, right? It's helping to, uh, um, uh, to control the blood flow. When we, I mentioned right off the hop, right? When you get an injury, when you get some, uh, some inflammation, all of your blood is flowing right to that area. And it's not, it, it's not actually helping anything else and it's not actually feeling very good for you. So what we have to do is we have to help control that blood flow. We have to control the blood flow by, um, you know, by helping with the massage. With the massage, you can help control the, the way that the blood flow comes in and the way the blood flow goes out. Just make sure that you're not, you're not applying too much pressure and make sure that you're applying just enough pressure that you can actually help that, right? You can, you know what I mean, right? When you, when you, you stick it in there and you feel that knot, right? And you want to do that. You want to make sure that you're, that you're massaging in a circular motion. You don't want to get in there and just like, you know, right? There is certain ways that you can do it. I don't actually, I'm not like a certified massage therapist. So I'm not even going to pretend to tell you that I know, um, right? The, the right or wrong way to do a massage I just know that uh, it, it, it does work Tina is actually um, a medical esthetician is what she is so she actually has a certification in doing massages right so when she start when I can convince her that it's a good idea to give me a massage it's actually really great because that's her certification right so but we're, when we're talking about alleviating uh, <laughs> relieving um, uh, you know, body discomfort that comes from work. Massage is a great way to start. It's a great way to help control the blood flow. And I can promise you, right, this is another one of those things. If, if, if getting a massage from somebody doesn't help you, tell them to do it again. <laughs> tell, tell them to do it again. And then, uh, and, then, and then see if it doesn't help you. Number four is rest, right? Sometimes we just need to rest we need to um, take a step back, right? We need to sit on the couch. We just need to, to just be for a little bit, right? Maybe we also just need to take a nap. We need to, uh, uh, for me, I love taking naps, right? 20, 30, 40 minutes, it doesn't matter how long. It, normally it goes a little bit longer than I uh, had intended to. But what we're talking about is, you know, sometimes we are not robots, right? We're not machines. We can't always be go, 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 going all the time. Sometimes we do need to, to rest and relax and we do need to take that break and we can't always keep going. We need to stop and take a step back every once in a while. <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with that, right? And that's also something that you really know more than anything, right? When we're going and we, <laughs> and we are, uh, you know, we're really at our quote unquote wits end and we can't really go much anymore. Sometimes we just need to stop and we need to take a break and we need to let our body rest itself, right? Sometimes there's just things that we can't do. We just need to let our body rest and recover on its own. Maybe, right, we go to bed a little bit earlier. Maybe we just take an extra 20 minutes on the couch. Maybe, you know, it, it, maybe whatever resting means to you uh, outside of, um, um, you know, regular life, but taking time for yourself is something that we don't do very much anymore, right? We're not, we in our busy on the go lifestyles, right? We are always go, 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 go. We don't actually really s stop to, to, to rest and to help our body, um, to help our body, uh, get, re repair itself. So that's where, we have to, you know, we have to do it on our own, right? We have to rest and recover and do our, do what we, what we can to help ourselves, right? We can't always keep going. Sometimes we need to take that break. I actually, oh, sorry. I know <laughs> I actually forgot that I was doing this, but my next tip is to use essential oils. And for me, essential oil, this right here, deep blue rub lotion is what made me love essential oils in the first place. This one, it's got peppermint in it, so it, it provides a nice uh, uh, cooling sensation, but I love it, right? It's a cream, you can put it on, you can you rub it, and then you put it anywhere, and it's just, it, it's great for helping to relieve inflammation. 
It's great for providing that cooling sensation. It's one of my favorite oils to use and I use it all the time. Another oil that I, or another blend that I love using that I don't actually have here is Serenity. Uh, Serenity is, um, I don't actually suggest applying it down there because it's got peppermint and it will feel really cold. Um, Serenity is great for um, uh, promoting that uh, the the relaxing environment that makes it perfect for going to sleep. So when uh, you know when we need to rest up and recover and we can't really, we're kind of tossing and turning, especially when we're when we're sore, right? Uh, Serenity blend is great for creating that uh, that relaxing environment that will help calm our body down. My last tip, more than anything, is to consider life coaching, right? Book a certifier. Um, life is hard, right? And if we could do it by ourselves, we probably would have done it already. And you know, there's nothing worse than trying to go through the motions and not really achieving anything that you um, wanted or that you set out to achieve, and just kind of you know live in that sedentary life. Maybe consider booking a sort of or a, a free consultation with a certified life coach like myself. And be on your way to living the life of your dreams. Be on your way to achieving more than what you thought possible. That's all I got for you for today. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, uh, feel free to share this with your friends, a family member, perhaps somebody from your team that you feel needs to hear this. If you'd like to learn more about essential oils, uh, how to get your hands on some of this cool stuff that I'm talking about, booking a free consultation with a certified life coach, definitely reach out to me, drop me a comment, send me a message, and we'll get you rocking and rolling. Thank you so much for joining me. I really hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and an even better week, and I look very forward to talking to you again. I love you guys. Bye for now.